Okay, hello everybody. Um, I kind of just want to add to this whole single mom, black single mother um, debate that's going on on YouTube. I am a black single mother. I know the statistics, but um, I just want to add my little two cents in. I did a video on the CNN being black in America from a female's perspective. And now I'm doing being a single mom from my perspective. And I can't speak for the whole, but I can only speak for me and a few of my, my close friends' um, perspectives. Now, I myself come from a two-parent home by family. My parents are still married. And uh, I was raised middle class, went to college. But I think one of the problems, well, I don't necessarily know if it was a problem, but an issue that I had was when I was little, I was pretty much an ugly duckling. I was, I felt like I was ugly. People called me ugly. They said my eyes were big. I was black. So on and so forth. But I didn't really get any positive reinforcement at home. My parents never told me I was beautiful. They never told me they, they really loved me. I mean, I would tell them I love you. And they would say, well, I love you too. My father was there. He worked hard. He played sports with me and my sister. And we had a good time. But he was not very... We just weren't really, really close. We were more friends than anything. He never hugged me. He never had any heart-to-heart -heart talks with me. He never... And, and this is the case with a lot of um, black men from you know, older generations. They weren't very vocal. They were just the breadwinners. And it was up to the mother to nurture the daughter. But my mom, when it came to talking about sex, she never talked to me about sex. She gave me an encyclopedia. They look it up. Give me a book on sex and basically say keep your legs closed. She never told me what to expect from guys, how that I should expect guys to treat me. Um, only thing that I saw was my parents' relationship, which seemed healthy to a degree. Um, my dad always took us out to dinner every Sunday. He always paid the bill. I never saw my mom pay for one meal. Um, but I know these days it's recession economy. I don't expect a guy to pay for my every single, you know, everything. I believe in give and take. But, um, so, you know, in high school I was a choir girl, I was a good girl, I was a virgin, um, you know, and none of the guys looked at me. I didn't get any attention from guys. And so when I went to college, and all of a sudden there was this flurry of guys, you know what I'm saying, coming at me, I didn't really know how to react, you know. All of a sudden, I was beautiful. Um... The guys love my butt. They love. They loved everything about me, and I thought, wow. I took that as meaning they are into me, Dion, and that was not the case. They really just wanted to have sex with me. What it comes down to now, I didn't just go crazy in college and sleep with the whole campus. I basically had a boyfriend all through college. He was a good guy, but I ended up breaking up with him because I was letting these other dudes were saying, getting my head like, oh, I'm beautiful, I'm this and that. I thought I could do better. So after I graduated, I said, hey, I'm not ready to settle down. I want to date some more. I thought I could upgrade, which, you know, in hindsight, I made a mistake a lot of women make is, oh, well, there's plenty of good guys out there. I'll find one because I thought I was young. There will be other guys and broke up with this guy, graduated, came home, met another guy who had just got his master's degree, college educated, um, seemed like he was a really sweet man and he told me all kinds of things. I was beautiful. I was wife material, and he wanted me to have his baby, this and that. And you know, I was like, okay, whatever. I, but I believed him. And then he was like, well, you know, I don't think I can have kids. And, you know, I think I have a low sperm count. Yeah, I went to the doctor. I have a low sperm count. So I, <laughs> being dumb, being dumb, was like, okay. And we had unprotected sex. And shortly thereafter. Um, I noticed problems in our relationship. He was just very mean-spirited. If he didn't get his way, he would kick and scream. He was just rude. He would cuss at me. And I was like, I got to let this go. But the night I was going to break up with him, I found out that I was pregnant. And so, you know, I was like, well, that's cool. He's educated. He has a job. He has a, his own place. He has a car. You know, um, he's a decent guy. I don't necessarily want to be with him, but we can co-parent together. We can make it work with two of us. And he told me he wanted me to have his baby, that I would be a good wife, so, hey, why not? You know, I can do this. I'm an adult. I made an adult choice. I can have this baby. But he promptly turned around and did a 360. He basically um, 
called Planned Parenthood and was like, okay, abortion costs this much amount of money. Um, you need to make an appointment. And that really, everything went downhill from there. I mean, every day he cursed at me. He said it was my fault I got pregnant. I had a low self-esteem is why I got pregnant. I'm just trying to take him for his money, this and that. Long story short, he's not involved in my son's life at all. As soon as I had him, he saw the baby twice. Then he broke out. Um, he knows where I work, so I work with my father, so he sends about $400 a year, uh, 200 for my son's birthday, 200 for Christmas, and this year he sent him, like, a backpack and some notebook paper for school. Yeah, so I don't really get much help. I took him for child support when my son was six weeks old, but he moved, he kept moving, so they never found him, so I haven't got a child support check. I basically get whatever he decides to give me, and... Um, I just think it's sad because I thought I was making an intelligent decision, but my mistake was I did not wait until I was married. I listened to everything this guy said, and um, I shouldn't have believed. You just can't believe everybody, and I think that's my short, my downfall is I'm too trusting. When you tell me something, I believe it because I'm that type of person. When I tell you something, that's what it is. You can hold me to my word. I'm telling you the truth, and it can be a harsh truth or it can be whatever. But it's the truth. And I just think that guys, I mistakenly feel that everybody operates that way and they don't. And so I, th I think it's really sad because he came from a single parent home. His dad, he didn't know his dad at all. And so I thought maybe he would want to be involved in his son's life. Most men want a son, you know, a legacy. But he, and he's six years older than me. I thought he was a little bit more mature, but he's not. And so I'm not chasing him down. I'm trying, not trying to get child support from him. Um, I shouldn't have to make any man take care of his child. So I'm doing the best that I can, and I'm trying to raise a responsible young man. And, you know, it's hard because I would like to get married one day. I would like to date, but I really don't have a support system too much. My mom will babysit sometimes, but it's very, very rare. And so I really can't get out because guys aren't willing to just put up with me not being able to go out that often because you can't get to know someone without going out. And so that's a problem that I'm having, and I really don't like being put in a box like, oh, you shouldn't mess with this dude, oh, you like thugs, oh, you like this and that. Well, no. In my case, I thought I was making a pretty good choice.